Can you hear me? Yes. You can? Yes. Okay, Brayden. Yes. And Charlie, we're going to install a door. Do you want to install a door in Brayden's closet? <laughs> we're going to install bypass sliding doors. And these are the instructions. And what you do when you get instructions, Charlie, you read through them, or at least skim through them if you're daddy. We're going to measure and cut things, okay, Charlie? Then we're going to install things to the proper dimensions, and then we're going to adjust them. First, Charlie, you measure the opening, okay? We're going to measure the width, and we're going to measure the height. You get on this end, you need to be able to read it. Here, hold it. No, hold on, buddy. You're, you're not quite getting it. Watch. Hold the tape measure. There. Now, I'm going to hold it on this end, and you go put it to that end, a little bit past, and read the measurement. Two, three, four, nine. Okay, 45 and three quarter inches. Okay, one, two, three, four. 81 and a half inches. Horizontal, vertical. Okay. Now this has to fit. Cut the track to one eighth of an inch less than the width of the door. So we have to cut off a little bit so they'll have an eighth of an inch to spare. Actually, Charlie, up here it is 45 and 3 eighths. Oh, good thing we measured again. And we're going to go out and cut it all at once. So watch, Charlie. Come here. I want you to read what this instruction says right here. What do these What do these instructions say right here? Okay. That's right. Cut these doors if necessary so that there is one half of the width plus a half inch. Clear the door. They already drew some doors for us. See right here. Okay, let's go out and cut them. So we're going to put this down here. See how I catch it on the end? It's caught, and we're actually going to catch it right up close to the edge, so it's parallel. Yeah. And then we're going to get it right down to this end. And we're going to use, come here Charlie, look. We're going to use a pencil instead of a pen, because this is a finished product, and we're going to have to paint it later. That's how the straight edge of our saw works. It's one inches. That's one inch. Okay. Now, some saws are different. You have to know the width of your saw, huh, Charlie? So that way we have a nice straight cut. So then, look, Charlie, we put the straight edge on here. What kind of clamp is that? How it spins. It spins. It's a C clamp, huh? That one's a C clamp. We're not going to use that one. Those ones are a little damaging to a door that's so flimsy. The A clamp would work fine, huh? We'll tighten it down, see Charlie? And then we got to do the same to the other side. Come here and tighten this, Charlie. Come and tighten it. Do you think you can pull the trigger and tighten it? Daddy needs your help. I'm going to need your help. Come on. Pull the trigger and tighten that. Pull the trigger. And start pulling the trigger. Squeeze the trigger ear protection for the saw. Okay. Look at how small your glasses are in comparison. You have glasses that fit you. Look at mommy. <laughs> All right, now daddy's got to get his on. This saw uses a battery and some saws get plugged in. Because it uses a battery, I'm leaving the battery off for safety until I'm ready to use it. And when I'm done using it, I'm going to take it back off again so no one gets hurt. We're just going to adjust the height, okay, and get it right below the bottom. We need to make a cut. You ready? Okay, that's it. Okay, come back over now. We always take the battery back off, and we always take good care of our tools, Charlie. See how I set them on a piece of wood rather than the concrete? That protects the tools from getting scratches and scuffs on the concrete. Oh, okay, go ahead, grab the clamp. We're just gonna set these aside. That's it. I guess we could sand it just a little. 
let's keep our glasses on. It's just a safety precaution to wear glasses when you're working. See this? With our sanding block. Tell mommy what you think about blocks going under it. Say whether you like them or not. Okay? I like these blocks. Turn around and tell mommy. Yay, mommy, the door is done. Turn around, tell mommy, yay, mommy, the yay. door is done. Yay, door dead. All right. Good job. Action. You, you've already started? I'll stop it. This is the second door. We have two doors. See, the other one is done over there. Always remember, Charlie, when you're making something, you measure twice and cut once. We always use our eye and ear protection and we always take the battery off of our tool or unplug the tool. And I like to lift up the guard so it doesn't slow me down. But only when I'm ready to start. Okay, that's it. Now we take the battery off the tool or if it was a plug-in tool we would unplug it. And we set it on a piece of wood where it will be protected. See, we can use power tools for many things in the wood shop. But this is such an easy thing to do that we just use a hand sanding block. We sand it by hand with a block. Should you do a dance and tell mommy that it's done? Like, look at me. Yay! We finished it! Yay, we finished it! Yay! We finished cutting the two doors. This is a sawzall. Okay, this one's a battery sawzall. So what we're gonna do, this is not the right kind of blade, this is for cutting wood. So let's put a metal cutting blade in that has finer teeth. Come here, Charlie, come and measure. You need to measure, buddy. Okay, oh, you're gonna measure your sawdust? Go, go measure the metal, come here, come and measure the metal. Come on, come over here. You need to be a big helper to daddy. I need you to help me. This is how we measure. Remember, we measure very carefully. We put it on the end, and we measure so that we don't make any mistakes. And we're going to look at our measurement. It's 45 and 3 eighths. And we're going to measure. Come here, Charlie. All right, let's do this. See, that's the triangle. I'm going to make a mark that indicates where we're supposed to cut. Let's grab our Sawzall and we're gonna put the battery on. This is very important. We didn't have a battery on it. Now we're putting the battery on for safety. See? Go stand behind Daddy. So get, get it back. Get right there. Okay, that'll be fine. Don't move while I'm cutting, okay? Hold on. Go ahead and stop. Okay. Do you sand that end? Yes. Or it doesn't matter because it's up high? It's, yeah, it doesn't matter. This is what we call a dry fit. And let's see if it does. Yes, it does. There's an old one in here that was bent, so let's take it out. We take out all the screws. There's the old one that's all bent out of shape. See, look at this, Charlie. The old one was broken, and it was like that when we bought the house. Enough. Yes, Daddy has the battery in there. That one is a drill. Okay, Charlie, don't turn the drill on. Drills are not nearly as dangerous as saws, Charlie, but they are still a little bit dangerous. Now, one more screw Charlie. and then we'll put the bracket on. See, Charlie, I have to push on it really hard. Come here, Charlie. Come and show me the next direction. All right, let's get started then. Even when you're drilling, little pieces of sawdust can get in your eyes, so we always wear our glasses. We're supposed to put them one and a half inches from the edge, and I'm going to drill a pilot hole with this drill bit. The shank of the screw is about that much. The threads are bigger. We don't ever want to drill a pilot hole as big as the threads. All we have to do is get our screw screwdriver and put the screw in. 
That's it. All right, okay, so I'm gonna finish it off because we don't want to strip the threads or the wood. Now, we have a working door. Is that fun? So you gotta get it out to far enough angle so that it'll work. And that's it. We now have bypass doors hanging. Is the wall crooked or is the bracket? Could be the way the bracket is attached. We're gonna have to adjust them. Okay. Where did Charlie go? Where is he? Open the door, Charlie. Where are you? Yeah, is that fun to have closet doors in Brayden's room? <laughs>